Egy a rátokbaszkás. Ez a címász két. Na, no, érdék ma minden szép. Ez a címász két. Ez a címász két. Ez a címász két. Na, ez a címász két. Na, ez a címász két. Oké, anyways. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is George Torrenti. I'm from Gatesoft AI1. I want to share a little bit about our POS, point of sale. You've heard of this. Everywhere you go, there's a point of sale. You go to a, a grocery store, go to a, a clothing store. Everywhere is a POS. But just so you know, there's POS in even the banks. When they collect money from you, that still is a form of POS. When you buy online from Amazon or from uh, uh, any other kind of you know uh, online uh, web retailer, it's still a point of sale that you're using. But traditionally in a a face-to-face -face, um, purchase, you have to go to a cashier, and a cashier would be using a POS. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of a retail POS, okay? This is more that's not related really to foods. It could be, but foods are normally kind of a touch screen, a little bit of different stuff, and you'll see one in my other videos regarding that. But this is a retail video, a retail, sorry, a retail POS I'm going to share with you. That traditionally, you would have, for example, um, a POS with a computer uh, and a, maybe a barcode guy. Maybe you can pull one up for you. Okay, let me just pull it up on our the internet so we can kind of give you a better idea so we can kind of understand each other. Point of sale. Let me go to images so we can kind of be on the same page right now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what you see on screen here behind me, this typically is a POS, okay? And you actually have what we call customer display, you got a printer for the receipts, you got a cash drawer, you got a barcode gun, you have the, 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 the monitor, keyboard, and what this is for is used for credit card or ATM payments and debit, whatever it might be. But that's typically a POS, but inside it is a software, and that's what we supply for you. We do, we do take a little bit, we do also uh, provide you the hardware, but you know, not as much. But if you have your own hardware, we're okay with that. If you need our hardware, well, so be it. What choice do we have? We want to help you, be servicing you. Uh, you are number one. So bottom line is, the software what we'll address. So for example, let's go back to the POS that I have in, on screen here. This would be in that screen, and this is what it would look like. There's different looks that we have, but this is one sample of one of them. In short, it's very simple. If I have a barcode gun, like I showed you the picture, that's quite simple. I click the barcode gun, um, it'll, the, the description of the item will appear automatically. You see them in grocery stores, they just kind of pass it through a flatbed scanner, or they have a little stand-up scanner. But in the case of a retail clothing store, it's a little gun. Now, if I have it, great. If I don't have one, you can also type it in. So, I'll give you an example. If I just type in the first letter, I can type in the whole description, I click enter, it'll take me to the letter D. I can continue typing, so it'll auto-fill, auto-find those particular items that I'm going to be selling. If I, can, if I don't, I can just scroll down here, but by arrow down, and let's say, for example, I click this enter, and it'll ask me how many are you buying. So if I have a customer here, uh, I say you're buying three of them, I put the quantity as three, as you can see there, I put type three, you hit enter or done, it's already on the list. This is very easy. Um, this is no different than you know going through a little like a little video game, okay? So and if I want to add another item, I go let's say let's say the letter J, I click enter, I have an item for letter J. So I'll look for the letter D again, I'll look for another item, I'll say four items or fourteen, I hit enter, and the item is there again. Let me look for one more, because I think I did the same item. Under the letter G, for example, ginger, I'll say enter, I'll say I need three, enter, and the whole this is done. I keep growing, growing all, as much as you go. Barcoding, same thing. As I do it, I don't have to type anymore. It'll automatically read the barcode ID number and it'll fill automatically. Pretty straightforward. I also have the option to change quantity because sometimes people change their mind or there's a mistake. 
That's called the F3 button right here, okay? The F3. If I click F3 here, I just click that, I can change the quantity. So right now I have highlighted this ginger mat, croco, whatever that might be. I'm gonna change it from the quantity of three, sorry, quantity of three, as you can see here, I'll change it to four. If I click four, okay, I hit done. You can see now, it's now four instead of three. Pretty easy. I can also change price. I'll click F4 for change price. When it comes to a price change, usually the company policy will take effect. Now, right now I have a setup that is looking for a supervisor or your manager to approve the price change because normally you're not allowed to do that. It can be through a barcode override card or through a username password or nowadays through 